I did my prediction video for the 2022 Tampa Pro just yesterday, and in my opinion, these two dudes will be one and two, Kamel Elgarne and Big Akeem Williams. Now, I'm sure not everybody agrees with me, but for the most part, maybe most of you do. But either which way, I decided to do a three-way comparison between the three dudes that I feel will be placing third, fourth, and fifth. This is Tim Budesheim, Phil Klahar, and Quint Beastwood, Quentin Uriah. And in my prediction video, I had Tim placing fifth, and Phil Klahar there in the center. I actually had him winning between these three. I have him in third and fourth for Quint Beastwood. But I figured I should, uh, you know, do a comparison using their last versions to see where, where I believe the judges really will use the or have these dudes placed. But keep in mind... Keep in mind, there is going to be some improvements for Quint Beastwood. We haven't seen him in a while. We've seen Tim fairly recently, Phil Klahar fairly recently. So I'm sure these versions will be what we will see, but I don't know. By the physique updates of Quint Beastwood, and I actually have him winning this front double anyway. Look at the small waistline, and he has the best set of arms. Phil Klahar is huge. You guys realize how big Phil is? He's conditioned and he's huge. Does not have the structure of a Quint Beastwood. Nobody does. Nobody does. And very conditioned is Tim, but he lacks the structure of the other two dudes. Go to the front lat spread. And again, the front lat spread, your structure is really going to come through more than anything in the, the first couple of shots, really. So Tim Budasheim, he's kind of out of his element. <laughs> but I mean, condition-wise, the guy is unbelievable. And speaking of condition, look at Phil Klahar. And maybe I was wrong. Maybe he can match Quint Beastwood in the structure. I mean, this front lat spread of Phil Klahar, he pretty much overshadows everybody. What an unbelievable pose. Do you guys know how old Phil is? I've seen a couple of things said he was 47. 47? Are you sure, Phil? Because if he's 47, this guy's unbelievable. I mean, he's good anyway, but I mean... 47? Are you kidding me? Might even give him the front lat spread over Quinton. Very close between him and uh, the both of the two in the front double and the front lat spread. So I might give them a pose each with Tim. Poor Tim falling last in line. Both shots. Turn to the side. Wow, look at the size of Big Phil Klahar. No wonder this guy places so high consistently. He defeats a lot of guys, I'm here to tell you, and he is going to be on fire for the Tampa Pro. He's definitely winning this side chest development. It's a close one between Tim and Quint Beastwood. Condition versus structure. Take your pick, guys. Side tricep. This big Klahar, very impressed. And I'm sure some of some of you are wondering, why did Marks Max Muscle, why did you put Phil ahead of these two dudes? But now, as you can see the comparisons, the dude is huge. He's about six feet tall. Big man's manly chest. Maybe the best set of quads. Not calves, though. Not calves. Look at the calves on uh, Quint Beastwood. I don't know, though. Structure-wise, I would say Quinton's might even be beating, might even be taking Phil in the side tricep. But I don't know. Size and condition really matter. And Tim, Tim, he's just not big enough. To, to deal with these guys. He's big, he's thick. I don't know, might even give him the side tricep over Quinton and the side chest. I don't know, maybe a tie between the two. Turn around. Phil Klahar, he's just winning between these three dudes. Might even been uh, more uh, more of a fitting comparison between uh, Phil Klahar and the top, th the top two. The top two, Kamel Elgarne and Akeem Williams. Anyway, anyway, this is what I stuck with. This is what I'm doing. Condition-wise, glutes, things of that nature, Quinton's good. Tim, he is very good conditioned, but he doesn't have the width. Little unsymmetrical. And, uh, yeah, Phil Klahar again for the victory. Rear double. Same thing here. Phil is winning this one, no doubt, no doubt. And this was the thing between Phil and, uh, oh gosh darn, Ian Valier, I think last year at the Tampa. A lot of people said Phil was beating him because of these back shots. This rear double here, it's going to be a competitive shot. Might even be the best of the uh, the entire show. 
So look for uh, Phil Klahar for sure to get into that top two. He might even get in, be the top three, I guess. Might have to change my predictions. But anyway, anyway. Most muscular or absinthe. It's a muscular absinthe. Oh, oh. There was Roman Fritz. I think I had him picked as, as last place. I might have dropped the ball on that one, guys. You guys called me on that one. I seen his physique updates. So Fritz, he uh, Roman Fritz is not going to place last. But in the abs and thigh, the guy I probably have winning this uh, trio is placing last, Phil Klahar. He's not winning the abs and thigh. I'll give this one to maybe Tim. He's very peeled, very conditioned, nice abs. But I mean, Quint Beastwood. The structure is maybe the best. Needs a little bit more peel in the abs, I think, to take out Tim. Close, close. Most muscular, and you know what? Quinton's finishing off strong here. And Phil Klahar, I think he knows he's winning, so he kind of, you know, he let it, he let his, his guard down. He doesn't look as ripped in the wheels. That's for sure. He was beating Quinton in some of the shots, separation in the wheels. This time, Quinton probably winning the most muscular. Tim is a ball of muscle. So conditioned. Certain judges might even give him a lot of the shots between the three if they're focused just mainly on condition. But, I mean, a couple of the back shots you could see were a little unsymmetrical. And the judges' criteria more focused on aesthetics, probably. Anyway, here's a different type of most muscular for you. There you go. I don't know, Phil might not be his strongest pose. And that surprises me, you know. Because he's so big. I don't know why he's so big. But at, a, at his age, maybe maybe he shouldn't be so big. But he is big. And he wins shows, or he, he should be winning shows. <laughs> Placing ahead of certain guys is a win for certain people, I'm sure. But either which way, guys, the most muscular, maybe even Tim Buda, Budasheim. That's right, not Sheem. There's no sh. It's a sa. Sa. Tim Budasheim. Seem? Seim. But either way, I have Tim in third in this trio in my prediction video, in this comparison. And I guess this comparison was to let you guys know why I had these three with Tim last in line and Quint Beastwood in second place between these three. And of course, Phil Klahar is your winner. And that is exactly how I had my predictions. But seeing how strong Phil was in some of those back shots, or I guess there's only two some of the back shots <laughs> anyway anyway both both of the back shots phil looked so amazing condition wise muscle wise he might watch for him definitely to get into the first call out for sure but anyway guys quint beastwood he has improved so much that i hope i hope that i am completely wrong about him i'd like to see him win this show Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. That's my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinion, because no opinions are wrong when it comes to bodybuilding. You gotta wait till the show, and then, you know, then you're wrong. Or right. That's the way it works, guys. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe. Have a good one.